The arrow of time. Why does time move forward? Imagine you drop a porcelain cup. It falls, it shatters. The pieces scatter across the floor, chaos blooming from order. But no matter how long you stare, they never leap back together. Time only flows in one direction. But why? This is the mystery of the arrow of time, the invisible force that whispers forward to the universe. In the vast silence after the Big Bang, everything was ordered, compact, simple. But entropy, the measure of disorder, had other plans. As stars were born and died, as galaxies spun into majestic spirals, the universe began unraveling, ever so slowly. Not in decay, but in evolution. Complexity born from chaos, one tick at a time. And with it, time flowed. You see, physics doesn't care which way time moves. The equations work the same forward or backward, but reality does care. You remember the past, not the future. You age, but never grow younger. You breathe in, then out, never in reverse. Why? Because of entropy, a silent law in the fabric of existence. It demands that things break down, spread out, mix. It paints a direction across the universe like a cosmic wind. Some call it thermodynamic fate. Others call it the memory of the cosmos. But here's the strange part. At the quantum level, time behaves differently. Particles don't obey a clear past or future. They live in blurred probabilities. So how does our clean, linear experience emerge from that chaos? Is time a human illusion, crafted by memory and perception? Or is it a real arrow, nailed into the heart of the universe by entropy itself? And if we could reverse entropy, could we reverse time? The arrow of time isn't just about clocks and calendars. It's about why stories unfold instead of unwrite. Why we're born, live, and die, in that order. It's the pulse of destiny, the rhythm of reality, and perhaps the deepest mystery of all. Why can we never go back?